Hey guys! It's been a while. How's it going? Um, as you can see, Annick and I are here today to answer BJD Addicts prompt number 47, um, which was a mega prompt that was posted after probably like a bajillion years. Um, it's been a really long time since the last prompt, and I haven't really had much dolly news. I've been really, really busy. I haven't had time to do like anything with my dolls lately, so I haven't made a video in like three months. Um, I don't know if I've even shown you Annex face up, but she's got some little white dots and she's got some sparkly eyes and she's very cute. Anyway, um, we're going to answer the prompt and yeah, let's do that. Uh, so prompt number 47 has three mini questions in it, so I'm going to answer each of those for you guys today. Um, the first question was... What do you do when the doll you want to buy is discontinued? Hmm. Now, my collection is pretty much all non-limited sculpts, uh, so I haven't really had this problem come up too much for me. Um, besides my Soul Doll Star, um, I got her secondhand on the marketplace right after her sculpt went out of stock. Um, and I haven't seen it come back in stock since then. I've had her for a couple of years. So I got really lucky um, finding her secondhand at a good price um, right after the sculpt had been, has been, it's basically discontinued. I don't know if they'll ever bring it back. She just says sold out on her page. Um, and it's been a super long time. So she might come back, who knows. Um, so my advice, I guess, is if your doll is discontinued um, to just be patient and keep searching and keep waiting because you never know when a company might decide to bring a doll sculpt back. Um, let's take Zoom Limiteds for example. Um, the Zoom Free Choice events allow you to get some dolls that maybe you might not have had a chance to get in the past um, and now you can put together in a slightly different way so that you can get that doll of your dreams. Um, Right now I'm actually looking, I'm actually searching for a doll that was limited and um, has not come back into stock yet. Uh, it's the Let's Senior Doll Fori. Um, I figure that that sculpt, they may bring him back as a non-limited. I was just hoping that he would come back as a non-limited because it is a, like a grown-up version of one of, of their kid doll, regular Bori sculpt. Um, and I wasn't interested in any of the limited stuff that he came with. So uh, I was, I'm really just hoping to find a head, to be honest. Um, and there is one listed on the marketplace on DOA right now, but it's just not at a price that I can afford at the moment. Um, and the exchange rate right now from Canadian to US is terrible. Like, I would be losing so much money. So I just can't justify the purchase right now. Um, so I'm just going to keep waiting and take my own advice. Just be chill. And uh, see if maybe I get lucky. But for those of you who do have a discontinued doll that you know is definitely discontinued forever, best of luck on your search. Just be patient. Good things will maybe come or you might just have to dream forever. Question number two. Has anyone learned something about themselves from being in this hobby? Well, I don't know if I would say I learned stuff about myself, more I've reaffirmed my own character traits. Uh, I know that I am someone who has puts great value into my own possessions, who never learned sharing, or not sharing in, a se in um, the traditional sense. A lot of people think of sharing as giving other people time with your things, but if things belong to you, I believe that they're yours and you have a right to do whatever you want with them. So, um, I don't like to share my doll stuff in a sense that, um, like I bought it so it's mine, so that's the way it's going to be. I don't know, uh, I'm just, I'm a little selfish, but that's just me. Um... Uh, obviously I love collecting, I knew that. Uh, I've always collected little bits of things here and there, but now this is my collection. Like you can see there's a bit of manga right there on that shelf. I used to be obsessive, an obsessive collector of manga. Um, when I got into the dolls I totally stopped collecting it and um, it's all dolls now. Uh, I've also reaffirmed that I'm super lucky. And I say that as like 
I feel really bad when I say this, but I just find that I'm, as a person, I'm just really lucky. Like, I win a lot of things. I've won three dolls in the past two years. Um, and it's just been really great. Uh, and I've, I guess what I have learned about my taste in dolls is that I uh, find pouty round faces and chubby cheeks aesthetically pleasing. Um, that's my main type of doll that I buy is the cute, sad, fat face babies. <laughs> that's what I like and uh, that's how it is. Um, final question. What's your opinion on finding a holy grail doll? Well, for me, uh, I don't really believe in the whole holy grail doll concept, personally. Um, to me, a holy grail implies that uh, there's a perfect doll out there that's like basically just out of reach and you kind of have to quest uh, and save up and work really hard to, to get the doll um, because it's, it's just out of your, your grasp. But I've never had that feeling. Um, Usually when I fall for a doll, it's basically immediate and I just take however much time I need to buy that doll or maybe I buy it right away. Um, usually I take my time in really deciding. So it's not really like I fall for a doll and I just need to have it right now and uh, I've not really had a doll that I found that's maybe really ex really extra expensive or has been discontinued or was limited for quite a while and I need to like search it down. I haven't really had that happen to me so I don't have a holy grail doll. Um, some people might think that Spore is my grail doll um, and I love Spore and he is my most expensive doll that's definitely for sure um, but my feelings for my dolls change a lot depending on my mood uh, depending on their outfit. Sometimes if I switch their outfit uh, I totally fall in love with them all over again if I switch their hair, their eyes. Uh, sometimes my dolls just get stale to me. Uh, Maddie had that problem, but she's looking really cute right now because I switched her up recently. Um, so there isn't really one doll I have that I love more than the others. My favorites are changing constantly, so I wouldn't say that I've ever had a grail, and I don't know with my personality that I would ever feel that there's a grail doll out there. Like I'm very happy with my collection, and um, it's more a collection as a whole rather than like one specific special thing to me. So yeah, uh, those are my answers to the three questions in the BJD Addicts prompt number 47 mega prompt. Um, I hope that was informative to you and thanks for watching me again. Um, I should have some videos up relatively soon again um, because it is going to be Anime North in a couple of weeks. So I'll be doing the Doll North stuff, definitely been taking, be taking some videos of some of the events that I go to, um, some of the work of some of the other contestants in some of the contests, I'll definitely be filming those because I did that last year and I'd love to do that again, make a little mini video for you guys of all the real cool stuff that will be happening. So stay tuned for that and uh, thanks for staying subscribed to me and being loyal fans. Uh, even though I'm never around anymore, I appreciate all of your efforts and all that jazz. Anyway, I'm gonna keep working. I'm slowly dying inside, but uh, it'll all be worth it and soon it will be summer. So anyway, hopefully we'll get some more dolly things going. I've got a doll order in the works, so you'll hear more about that in the future. Take care guys, have a good one.